Hey, weirdos. Uh, I wanted to let you know about something that I am really excited about. Um, and I didn't think it actually would ever happen, but it is. Uh, some of you might remember uh, Art Bell. Um, most most people know him from the late night show, co uh, late night show that is, uh, Coast to Coast AM on the radio. Well, Art Bell passed away a few years ago, but before he did, uh, he uh, retired, but then really couldn't retire. He just couldn't stop himself from doing it. So he started a new a show called Midnight in the Desert, which I'm sure a lot of you uh, know about. It was an online show on the Dark Matter Digital Network. Well, the Dark Matter Digital Network continues to air his show. Uh, in fact, you can listen to uh, recordings of Art Bell's show uh, seven days a week on the Dark Matter Digital Network. As of this weekend, Weird Darkness is now going to be on the same station that Art Bell created. Uh, and I am, I am floored. Uh, you know, I've got radio in my blood. I, I've been in radio since 1990, so I always kind of think radio-ish, and uh, which also explains kind of why the why the podcast kind of has that radio feel to it where i where, where if i'm taking a break i'll say coming up next blah 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 um it's just the radio guy in me well i was asked um a few months ago by somebody from, from a, a a navy seal actually uh who is getting out of the military and he wants to create his own station for the military uh, for people who are in the service and for, for veterans. And he wanted to know because he and his Navy buddies were apparently listening to the show. And he wanted to know if he could re-air Weird Darkness on his new station that he's creating. Again, it's going to be an online station. And I said, for the military, for our men and women in uniform? Absolutely. Uh, you know you know how I feel about that with, with me sometimes dedicating episodes to them. So I realized, though, that the podcast really isn't created for, for radio. <clears throat> because uh, the, it's a different length every every single time. So you can't say that it's one hour of radio where you can put in commercial breaks and stuff like that because it's not going to be just an hour. So I started playing around with it and I realized some episodes I could edit down to make them exactly one hour, um, even even with cutting in breaks in there. So there would be room if they needed to add commercials or or uh, station IDs, you know, saying you're listening to Rock Haven Radio or whatever it is that they have. And so that kind of got me in that radio mode. And I started thinking, if I'm going to do this for this one station, why not make it available to others? The one station that originally approached me isn't ready to launch yet. We're still testing everything over there. But I went ahead and just reached out to a few stations. And one of them was Dark Matter Digital Network the home of Art Bell's Midnight in the Desert. And I had no idea that they would actually reply to me and say, this is exactly what we're looking for. You caught us at the right time. We're just now revamping our on-air lineup. I mean, I, it was like absolute perfect timing. Only God, <laughs> only God would have me go, have me email them at the exact right moment. At the time, the guy happens to be in front of his computer so he could read it because he he got back to me like within within like three hours so it wasn't too it wasn't too long after i emailed it that he emailed me back and for that for me to e email them just as they were making lineup changes so i think uh, by the way it's going to be uh friday and saturday nights uh at 11 p.m mountain time at the dark matter digital network um, if that's midnight central time, so Saturday, Sunday, midnight, or Friday, Saturday, 11 PM. And I believe it is right before Art Bell. I think I'm actually opening for Art Bell on the digital matter or on the, uh, dark matter digital network. So anyway, I'm just, I'm floored. Um, I ended up getting another couple of emails from another couple stations that actually are interested in taking the show as well. Suddenly now we're darkness is a radio show. Uh, not the, the podcast is still going to stick around. I'm not doing anything different with the podcast. It's going to keep on going. The uh, radio show is probably going to be uh, episodes that I've aired on the podcast, just edited down uh, to make them fit for radio. But eventually I may actually just start creating new episodes specifically for the radio show. So if you want to, and, and those will not be 
in the podcast, at least not in the beginning. So if you want to check it out, uh, look online for uh, for Dark Matter Digital Network. Um, if you have an Amazon, if you have an Amazon Echo um, or a Amazon Dot, you can say A L E X A. You know, play Dark Matter Radio or Dark Matter Digital Network, and she'll bring it up on because it's all, it's on iTunes or not on iTunes, but it's on uh, TuneIn.com. I think you could probably do the same thing with Google. But anyway, I, you're going to hear me briefly mention it in today's podcast, but I just, I could not wait any longer. Um, it's not been officially launched on their website yet. Uh, they haven't actually announced. I mean, we've been going back and forth. I've sent them every, everything and they're, they're really excited about it as well. And you'll eventually, you'll end up seeing a Weird Darkness page at the Dark Matter Digital Network website. So anyway, um, when I, when I po post this, I'll, I'll uh, put a couple of uh, links so you can just go directly to their to their website if you want to give them a listen because I've been going to bed the last couple of nights listening to Art Bell. I had no idea that he was even that he was even still out there uh, until I came across their site and said like, yes I love Art Bell so, and and now I'm opening for him. What wow! Anyway, I, I couldn't do any of this without you. Uh, you've been with me for five years now, and the first two three years were tough, uh, just getting people to even give it a listen, try to even sample Weird Darkness. For some reason, the last couple of years, you all have really gotten behind the show. You've been telling your friends about it. You've been uh, telling coworkers and, and family members to say, hey, you ought to check this out. You know, he's a he's a great storyteller, or you like creepypastas, or if you like ghosts, you ought to check out this website or this, this podcast. And it is more than I deserve. And I, I cannot tell you how much how much it means to me that you guys have been doing that for me. And you've actually brought me to the point now that it's it's weird because many of you have said that uh, Weird Darkness is kind of a cross of Art Bell and Unsolved Mysteries and, you know, Twilight Zone, all that. And I mean, just even be compared, compared to Art Bell at all is beyond uh, beyond what anybody could ask because nobody ever will be Art Bell. He, he was he was his own thing. But now to be on the same station as Art Bell. Not, not only the same station as Art Bell, but the station he created. The uh, the station that he specifically created because he wanted to keep to keep doing his thing. And now the new owners who are continuing to, to honor his legacy have decided that Weird Darkness is worthy of being on that station. Wow. So, anyway. Thank, thank, thanks to all of you. And thank you, Jesus. Just, it's amazing what things are, keep happening around here.